they blocked the main highway outside Quito. Residents of San Miguel de Calderón say President Guillermo Lasso, who has been in office for four months, lied to them during the election campaign about fixing the troubled economy and improving their lives. They say his recent decision to raise fuel prices proves it. This woman does not want to show her face. She's a nurse and says Ecuadorians are struggling to survive. I make $400 a month and I cannot make it to the end of the month. The president increases the price of fuel and this affects us in every possible way. It wasn't long before the police and armed forces marched in. The president declared a state of emergency a week ago to combat rising crime and protests are not tolerated. The police are using tear gas and rubber bullets to clear the roads now. They're going into this community and going after the protesters. The protesters are saying that President Guillermo Lasso is a banker that is hurting their interests and that's why they remain on the streets. The government says demonstrators are trying to generate chaos, but those protesting say they just want the price of fuel frozen, along with indigenous communities who want a halt in government plans to increase oil and mining production. They also want the police to stop using tear gas to break up the protest. My grandchildren are inside. One is two months old. They can't breathe. They are throwing gas inside my house. Several people were detained and others were injured during the clashes in San Miguel de Calderón. President Guillermo Lasso is heading to Glasgow this week to participate in the COP26 climate meeting. But people here want him to look at what's affecting them directly in the community. We don't have work. We are poor. There are no millionaires here. We all suffer here. There is no water, no electricity. Lasso came to power with a promise to improve the economy and has been trying to pass a series of business-friendly laws that will help him get out of the current crisis. He's now asking Ecuadorians to unite. I'm calling for dialogue, consensus, to think about what's good for our country not in personal interests. While we rebuild Ecuador, there are people who want to divide it. But people have lost trust in the administration. They say the government's development plans do not include people like them. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, San Miguel de Calderón.